guys, once again, we're going to uh, do another test here. We have our meter set on amps DC, and we're gonna we're gonna pull the main fuse out of the motorcycle. We're gonna hook up our meter in series. We've been talking about that quite a bit. So the power's got to go through the fuse, through the meter onto the circuit, and we're gonna actually measure the amp draw of what's being shoved into the battery. You guys saw this out of your lab book. Uh, once we get that test done, there's another we're, we're going to do with another specialty tool. So go ahead and perform the test. Now you got to get a really good connection on there. The other thing Terry has to be really careful of and Ryan here is they cannot uh, burn themselves with the exhaust or get the tool or the wires down on the exhaust as well. Casey, go ahead and start it. We're going to let the fuel pump arm. service manual and see what the specification is. Here's the thing. A lot of bike manufacturers are not giving us the specification of how much charging current the system should produce. We're testing all the components. If those are good, life's good. And the other ultimate test going across the battery and seeing how much is actually being put in uh, to the battery as far as voltage. But another cool test we have is we have in here. You can set your meter down. I'll trade you places. Just get this cover out of our way here so it doesn't fall off the lift. This test is telling us how much. Trade me places. Okay. Now what we're going to be able to do is instead of hooking a meter up in series, we have our clamp on type amp testing equipment. And there's a scale on here as far as AC, DC, 40 amps, and 400. We've had a lot of good luck doing our 400 amp scale. So we're going to switch them actually uh, just to try a different meter we'll grab the sample one we're going to set this to volts dc we plug this in just like we would our leads common ground our volts and then one thing we want to do is we want to hit this zero button. So we have DC zero. They're giving us all the indications right on here. There's also a scale that says that when we're on the 400 amp setting, so we're on this one, DC, it says that whatever reading we get on our meter, one millivolt is actually equals one amp. So if we read seven on here, how many amps are we drawing? Seven amps, okay? So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna go around this insulation here, see if I can get try and actually go all around even the insulation see if it'll work. It might not. We might have to peel the insulation back. But go ahead and fire up the vehicle. Even around the insulation, look at what we're getting. Now what's a safer test? Can I see that? Parasitic, Parasitic. Parasitic. 
magnetic draw. We also would disconnect our negative battery cable, hook our meter in series. We take one lead to the cable, the other lead to the battery. We'd look to see if we have a draw. We said that stereos, preset stations, and clocks, and some CDI boxes that memorize the last ignition timing <clears throat> and position of the motor will have a really, really small milliamp draw, right? Uh, when we turn the key on, then we would actually see the headlight drawing, the taillight drawing. Now, if you guys notice, is the taillight, the tail, uh, hit the brake light once. The brake light's not working because actually, to make the next test work, I pulled the brake light relay out. Because what's happening is where I want to insert this tool, the relay was too large here, and it was hitting the, the adapter, the current loop that we're going to install. Key off. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go across the battery fuse. I'm going to insert this tool that comes with this clamp-on ammeter, and this is a current loop, so I don't have to figure out which wire's in the harness. Everything that's attached to whatever fuse I choose is going to be able to go from here. I take the fuse out of the motorcycle. I'm going to plug it into my adapter here, like so, and then I'm going to put it in the location. The brake light won't work, but our main fuse is back in place here. I can go ahead and... Uh, now, anytime you have this off, it's a good idea to re-zero it. I'm just going to start over. You can see it's working. I need to be not pinched on the wire. Oops, pulled that too hard. I need to be not pinched on the wire, okay? If, I'm, if I don't have this all the way shut, can you see the piece of metal that's inside the probe there? Right in the middle there? Okay, that makes the connection. If you, even on the dyno on our tax signal, if you don't have that fully shut, the tax signal won't work. We're going to get, you know, falsified readings. So, once again, maybe all the way clamped. Pull this in place here. All right, go ahead and fire up the vehicle. We're going to see what type of amperage is coming across this battery fuse. Just 
it was just not working on the 400 amp scale. This is why we could test it. We don't have anything off the motorcycle to check it against.